Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Ticket. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the brand new Good Luck update in 2019 for Samsung One UI. So, Good Luck is now fully compatible to work with the One UI on your Samsung smartphone. All right, so for those of you who do not know what Good Luck is, let me show you what it's capable of really quickly, just to give you a quick preview. So, at the bottom, I've got my navigation bar, and as you can see, I was able to put more buttons into the navigation bar. I can pull down the notifications panel from here if I wanted to. I can even take a screenshot and again this is all fully customizable over here and as you can see I've got five buttons in the bottom here that you can do as well and of course I can also change the way my uh, recent area looks over here as you can see we got the beautiful uh, option here and finally again you can do things like this you can customize your notifications panel and quick toggles panel okay now before we dive in if you find my videos useful make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time i upload a new video and of course if you do use twitter instagram or facebook make sure to follow me on all at socky tech online also for the latest updates all right let's dive in if you're wondering what case I'm using for my Samsung Galaxy S10, see the link in the description box down below. This is an official Samsung case and it's a fantastic case. So check the links below and now let's move on. So let's dive in and discover what the new Good Luck has to offer. Now the very first thing, if you're brand new to Good Luck, what I want you to do is go to your app drawer and then look for the Galaxy Store. So it's either here in your app drawer or it's gonna be in your Samsung folder, but you can just search it right here. Just tap in Galaxy and it's gonna pop right up. So go, go to Galaxy Store and then tap on search on the top and search for good luck. And then go ahead and download this brilliant little software. So let's uh, open it up. Let me just go over here and open up from here. So it's right over here, good luck. Now when you launch good luck for the first time, there's gonna be a list of apps over here, okay? If you want to download any one of these apps, you just tap on the app, it's gonna take you to the store and you just download it. Once you download it, it's gonna be available for access just like this. Now let's uh, quickly show you all the things you can do with good luck. So let me start with the quick star application over here, which I really, really enjoy. So if you tap on quick star, and if you enable quick star panel, quick panel star, uh, it is going to modify your uh, notifications panel. Okay, so here's my regular notifications panel on my Samsung smartphone, and this is an S10 Plus, but again, the One UI is gonna work on any Samsung smartphone, okay? But that's the regular notifications panel. And if I enable this, uh, and if I choose one of these uh, special notification panels, I can just click apply. Now, when you pull it down, it has been modified. That's absolutely fantastic, all right? So if I can go back over here, I can pick this one as well. I click apply, and then when I pull this down, now I have a transparent notifications panel, uh, something that is really cool. And as you can see, it's also got the translucency going on in the background, so that's great. But you have all these options. You can click and apply and modify your control panel, all right? Let me just show you one more over here. Click apply, and that's the red one, okay? One of my favorites. And of course, you can swipe over and there's more preset options, including this one. So if I pull this down over here, again, we've got the translucency with special colors in the background. So great way to customize your notifications panel. Now, you could also go over here and click on plus and create your own color, okay? So I can pick, for example, uh, let's just do green just to show you. So click done, and now... It's going to give me the full um, interface to change everything. So overall theme is going to be green, but I can choose the on color. So when everything is on, I want it to be red. And I know these are ridiculous colors. So I'm just showing you how to get it done. Uh, the off color could be uh, blue. Okay, so that's off, that's on. And the font color could be anything that you want. It could be uh, yellow, which is also, let's just keep it at black over here. All right, so you can also do the background color. You can also change the opacity, so you can take this one and make it tr uh, transparent if you so desire, if you can make it completely transparent or minimum, okay? So this is a great little uh, tool over here, uh, part of the Good Luck family. So make sure that you get this and start customizing, guys. This is the way to go. Now, the other thing I wanna talk about is the Lockstar. Now, this is something I don't really use myself, but again, people are gonna use it and most people actually love it. So, Lockstar allows you to create custom lock screens. So, your usual lock screen is this one right here. Let me just uh, shut off the screen real quick. Lock the screen. So, that's my usual lock screen, okay? That's the regular Samsung smartphone interface. But if I enable this, okay? If I enable this guy right over here, 
it is going to allow me to use these custom styles. Now, if I go back out, just lock the screen for a second, that's going to be the new interface, all right? And of course, uh, you're going to have to fine tune that to make sure it works perfectly with your uh, smartphone. So again, you can go over here, you can do the unlock type, you can swipe, swipe up, swipe down, swipe left, swipe right, whatever you want over here. You can click on plus here and you can create new lock uh, screen style. So I have all these options, as you can see, I have these colors that I can pick. There we go. Okay, if you pick this color right here, you can go to the clock. You can pick these various clocks from here. And of course, you have so many options, it's crazy. Uh, they have added hundreds of these things over here. Uh, you can use things like this. That's the one that I just used. And you can also do item visibility. Okay, so what do you want to do with clock? You want to hide it? There you go. You can hide the notifications if you don't want them. All right, you can hide the status bar so you can just have a plain uh, screen. And you can save this. It's going to show up right here. You tap on it. It's going to apply the style. So let's go right back in. So that's the lock star to customize your lock screen. You can also choose to keep the system wallpaper. You don't have to use these wallpapers here. So if you do this, it's just going to use the system wallpaper that you're using at the time. And also you can use a system clock if you want. Okay. And that's going to use the regular system clock. But anyway, that's the lock star. Uh, let me go back here. And that's one of the other options to customize your Samsung product. Now here's one of my favorites, uh, the task changer. So if I tap on the, if you have one UI and if you tap on the recents button, that's the interface you get to switch between apps. And it's a great interface, interface, there's no problem with it. But if you want something different, you can tap on this one. You can go to task changer, enable it. And now when I press on this button, I get this new uh, task changer that looks a little bit different than what I have right there, okay? So again, there we go. That's absolutely gorgeous. I love to have options on my smartphones, and that's what you get with the good luck. So let me go back in here. Uh, you can also change the uh, type of the layout. So a lot of people were looking for the list view. So if I tap on list view, I can tap this. Now I get the list view for my um, uh, applications, all right? So let me go back here. You have the option to go to grid view. So that's actually pretty good. And then tap it one more time. And let me show you one more thing. There we go, carousel right there, boom. And now we have this one, okay? So you get all these gorgeous options to go nuts with your customization on your Samsung smartphone with the One UI. And you have the mini mode, so if I enable the mini mode, you get smaller versions of all the windows. Let's take a look at what's going on over here, list. Boom, that's the mini mode. Now, now one thing I wanna show you guys is if you're in the, in the option here, if you go to the grid, for example, uh, or the carousal, you do get extra options such as a scrolling effect. So you can do things like linear. So there, that's it, okay? So that's linear. And then if I tap it one more time, uh, the scroll effect is gonna be rotation up. So you can change everything, all right? It's so customizable, it's nuts. This is the way all phones should be, all right? And then of course we have the clock face. Uh, the great thing with the clock face is it allows you to uh, add even more clock faces uh, when you customize your smartphone. So if I tap on this one here, I can go to the always on display or the lock screen. So if I go to lock screen, now I have access to all these crazy clock faces. If I want to access them, so this is just a regular, this is the stock stuff, right? So this is just the stock stuff. But if you go all the way to the end, you tap on this one, now you get access to all the clock faces from the good luck update. So you can pick any one of these that you want. Look at all these gorgeous ones. I can pick this one right here. That's gonna show up at the actual lock screen when I click apply. So you got all these options right over here and they're absolutely fantastic. Uh, you can also apply these uh, effects, these clock faces, uh, when you tap here to the always on display. So again, even on the always on display, you're getting additional options to go crazy. And then you've got the uh, navigation bar. This one I'm gonna skip. You can take a look at it yourself. And also, if you go to family, you have even more options, okay? So you can download all these apps and just play with them. Uh, there's no need to go over each one of them, but I do want to talk about the navigation star. This allows you to customize the navigation bar. So if I tap on this, I can pick any one of these bars over here. So if I tap this, that's what I have now. If I tap this, that's what I got now. If I tap this, that's what I have now on the bottom. And of course, you can do a new configuration, which is my favorite. So I can tap on this one, I can pick a background color, and then I can go to button layout, and I can do the add a button, and then I can actually add more buttons. So let me put this over here, 
So that's one button that I have. I can click save on this. Then I can go down here and choose it. And now I have the notifications panel button right here. That's gonna bring my notifications panel down, all right? That's absolutely fantastic. And of course you can do so much more. New configuration, pick a color, go to button layout, add a button. Uh, you can do a screen capture and also you can do a, uh, let me see, camera, okay? So I think you only add two more and then that's it. That's right here. Now, when I save this, if I go down and pick that option, look, I can access the camera right from here. That's great. And I can also take a screenshot right from here. All right. So that is the uh, good luck, guys. This is a 2019 update that works with Samsung One UI. Absolutely stunning stuff. All right. So if you do have any questions, comments or concerns, just drop your questions down below. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.